Hello Aries, welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome if you're new. We're gonna be doing a you and them love reading today. So we're gonna look at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and what's next for the connection. As always, this is a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Aries watching. So just keep that in mind. Just because you're watching this video does not mean this is your reading. You will know soon enough if this is your reading. If it does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Aries. All right, let's get into this. What messages do you have for Aries in love? What message do you have for Aries? This is going to be a reading for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, let's see. What messages do you have for Aries? Deception is the first card out. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. What else for Aries? This could be that someone's hiding how they feel or it could be outright deception. We'll see. What else for Aries? Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. What's this? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So what I'm picking up um, right away is that there is some sort of tie or bond that you have with someone. However, I feel like I don't know. I feel like some of you are not being very honest or they are not honest with you. This could also be that one of you is in an unhealthy attachment. We'll see. What other messages do you have for Aries? When it comes to love spirit, what's going on in their connection? What's going on in this connection spirit? What messages do you have for Aries? Ace of Wands reverse. What else? Oh. Nine of Pentacles reverse. What else? Strength reverse. Leo energy with the strength card reverse. Bottom of the deck, I have judgment reverse. And Queen of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so right away, I'm picking up that one of you is attached. It could be attached to a partner. It could be that you're financially bound to something or someone. This could be someone who's insecure because I have strength reverse. So it could be someone that does not have confidence or does not feel strong enough to deal with a situation that clearly isn't going well with the Ace of Wands reverse. Someone I feel could have jumped in and kind of wasn't thinking clearly. We'll see. Actually, I want to use a different deck. I'll use this deck here. Help me clarify these energies, please. For Aries. Let me clarify these energies for I keep seeing the judgment card and it's reversed every time. I saw it reverse in the other deck. I see it reversed here. I feel like someone had some sort of a bad judgment call. And I think they want to make a different one. I have the wheel of fortune there as well. Um, oh, okay. Seven of swords reverse. Yeah, this is someone that did not make the right choice. Possibly was juggling more than one person. I normally don't look at the deck like that, but I felt like doing that this time. So let's see. Spirit, why is the Ace of Wands reverse here? I feel like your connection, yeah, again, I get the Queen of Pentacles reverse. I feel like one of you could be in a marriage or a long-term commitment or is not able to give to this connection in some way. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Out of fear, perhaps, or is someone stuck in something else? See what I'm saying? There's someone that is trapped or attached to something. Could be um, because of money, it could be because of um, family, it could be because of addictions. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands reverse. Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone here could be thinking about um, being left out in the cold, wanting to come back in possibly. The Sun reverse. Someone's unhappy. They want success, but I feel like... Um, I think this is also what I'm picking up is recognition. Someone wants to be seen 
or is looking at you. I'm just picking up that someone's like looking at you in secret or keeping tabs on you in secret because the sun is reversed. Let's see. What can you tell me about this nine of pentacles reverse? Why is the nine of pentacles reverse? Three of cups. See, I'm, I'm picking up that this could be a third party situation. Either that or someone's unable to reunite with you or come together with you because of what they're attached to, Aries. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles reverse. The Hierophant reverse. Taurus energy. I feel like this is a commitment or a contract or something binding that's not really stable. Perhaps someone needs to break a commitment here. Why is this higher form reverse? Seven of swords reverse came out again. So I feel like this is someone that is deceiving someone else. And it's going to get caught. This is someone that's seen clearly for who they are. The spotlight is on them and they kind of get caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Can I get one more for this nine of pentacles reverse? Three of Wands. Interesting. This could be somebody waiting for the right moment to do what? So let's see what's at the bottom. Ah, to make you some sort of an offer with a Page of Pentacles. Interesting. This person could also be keeping you waiting, Aries. And you're like, when is this coming? I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Where is this offer? And this is a very small offer. It has potential, but it's a very small offer to begin with. For some reason, I feel like this is all they can give you with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is all they can give you. Let me organize this a little bit more because I'm going to need room. still think there's some sort of third party energy here, something that's in the way. And also like a lack of fear or a lack of, um, not a lack of fear, a lack of courage because I have the Eight of Swords, which is a card about fear and imprisonment. Tell me about the strength reverse. Why is strength reverse? Ten of pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is a broken commitment or a long-term commitment that's not stable. I have the higher font reverse, ten of pentacles reverse, queen of pentacles reverse. These are cards for me as a reader, typically of marriage. And it's not going well. Tell me about the strength card reverse. Why is strength reverse? Yeah, see? Someone I feel doesn't have the courage to deal with this. I have the Five of Swords, rever uh, not Rivers, at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that is very focused on winning at all costs. There's also someone where there's this card's also about failure. So I feel like there's a fear of failure here. Possibly because there's something that this person would lose. So this could be the deception here. Someone could be telling you that they're going to be dealing with this, but I don't see that happening. Can I get one more for the strength card reverse? Can I get one more please for strength reverse? <laughs> the five of swords. Okay. <laughs> so that is the message basically. <laughs> All right. So let's see. How are you feeling about each other? Let's get your energies here. Spirits and just Tell me more about Aries and this other person, the energies that they are bringing to this connection. Tell me more, please, for Aries. What energies is Aries bringing to this connection? Oh, that is way too many. I'm not taking all that. What energies is Aries bringing to this connection? at this time frog this is healing energy renewal you could be healing from this um, Aries or perhaps you need healing maybe you've been very affected by what's happened what about your person tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with what are their energies
Nope, that's not it. Tell me about the person that air uses. Moth. Interesting. Look at these two cards, how similar they are. In color, anyway. Let's see what the moth is about. I'm pretty sure the moth is about attraction, but I want to see if there's any other wording in here that resonates with you watching. And if this is resonating for you, please leave me a comment, Aries. Let me know if it is. The moth is sure the grass is greener on the other side. We're attracted to easy solutions or anything shiny and new. This can lead to unfinished projects, disappointment, or burnout. No matter the illusion, no one is exempt from the trials and tribulations of this great journey. So this is someone, I feel like this person made promises they couldn't keep. Now I have them on this side and you over here, Aries, but feel free to flip them if it resonates more for you. Um, but I feel like this, this is someone that was drawn to you, um, but kind of it got away from them. Also, maybe they thought the grass was greener on the other side um, and they might have made a different, like a, a choice that they regret or a choice that has kind of burned them um, because this was someone impulsive. The first word here is impulsive, then hasty and wishful. So I feel like when I was shuffling earlier for you in this reading, I mentioned that someone kind of jumped in with both feet. That's the energy I was picking up and that's what this card is kind of about. Now you on the other hand, with the frog, this is someone that, um, you know, needs some sort of healing. The frog spends his first months of life entirely within this healing ele element and then merges on land. Need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished, so it's vital that you practice self-care. Water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. So this is about clearing your energy, healing, self-care. I feel like that's what you're you're needing at this point because I feel like this person has only disappointed you. Okay, I'm going to be using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck here to get a little bit more information. This is a deck that you can print at home. The link is down in the description box if you're curious. Spirit, tell me more about these energies between Aries and this person. Tell me about Aries. What are their thoughts or feelings or energies at this time? What are their energies at this time for Aries, please? Past life, past life connection, X memories. You have had a connection with this person in the past. And then balancing act, imbalance, and decision, juggling. You're trying to restore balance in a situation. You could be wanting to heal something with from the past, Aries. What about the person that Aries is dealing with? What are their energies, Spirit? Tell me more. Free Spirit, independent, spiritual, open mind. I just thought freedom. Burden heart, yes. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. Someone wants to be free of their burdens, I feel. This person wants to be independent. Hmm. And I feel like their burden is probably tied to some sort of responsibility that they have, something like that, that, you know, they, something to do with a long-term commitment or some sort of contract. Tell me more, Spirit. Some more information about how Aries and this person are feeling towards one another. How is Aries thinking or feeling about this person or this connection spirit? King of Swords, you want clarity, you want the truth, you want to talk. Also, I'm, I'm pict picturing you um, kind of just knowing. You know, you, you know uh, what the situation is. You are not blind to the reality of this situation. What else? How is Aries thinking or feeling? Okay, we got temperance, Sagittarius energy, patience, balance, trying to make something um, work here. And then we have the nine of wands. So this is something that, you know, again, that frog energy that's been through a lot and needing to cleanse, rejuvenate, heal. I feel like you've been through a lot with this person or because of this person. And I feel it's because in your mind, this was your person. 
It could also be that this person has a family and so that weighs on you as well. I feel like deep down you still want to heal this connection or bring it together, like make it work. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their thoughts? Well, they're completely heartbroken. They're, they're not able to manifest what they want to manifest. Disappointed. Yeah, three of swords reversed. They might want to heal this situation or there's a third party energy here that keeps them from manifesting. What's this three of swords reversed? Why is the three of swords reversed here? Nope. Why is the three of swords? Okay, that is a lot, but we're going to look at them. Ace of swords, ten of cups, eight of cups, hangman reverse. So this is a very um, interesting story that I'm seeing here. This is someone that wants to come cut out something, possibly their family. Um, they might want to have a serious talk or clear the air about this. Have a new beginning based on truth. They know they have to walk away from something, but they're unable or unwilling to become unstuck or they don't want to sacrifice with the hangman reverse. This is someone that cannot see things from a different perspective or a different angle, which makes sense because I have the eight of swords upright. When the eight of swords is reversed, it means that someone has found a way out or has found a breakthrough of some sort. Um, um, or, or like a, they, they are no longer trapped by fear or by me, like their mental prison that they've been in. But it, that's not the hangman reverse. That's like, that's not what this is. So it's like this person wants to walk away from this, this other situation. Tell me about the three of swords reverse. Knight of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse. I don't think this person, it's, it's almost like they jumped into something. Yeah. They jumped into something and now they want to be free of it. There's the Fool. They weren't thinking clearly. They jumped into something. They want a new beginning or they were foolish. They weren't thinking clearly about what they were doing. Why is the Magician reverse? Why is the Magician reverse? Spirit? The tower reverse, because they don't want a tower to fall. Okay, why is Temperance here? The Hermit. So you've been really thinking about this. Virgo energy here. Thinking about how to make something work. Tell me more about the um, Temperance card. Why is Temperance here? No, I got two. Yeah, I feel like you want to talk to this person. Maybe you have your eye on this person, social media, friends, or texting or something like that. But I feel like this person's in a commitment with the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. That's that codependent card. I feel like there's a, a tie, again, some sort of attraction or tie. There could even be an addiction that someone's dealing with here. Yeah, you you want to, you want to, you're the one that wants to talk to this person. And of course, feel free to flip it if it resonates. But this is someone that wants to talk, communicate, express themselves, maybe even apologize. With the Emperor Reverse, there's you, Aries, coming into your own reading. I feel like you feel this is out of your hands out of your control there could even be some sort of need that you want uh that you feel that you that it's, it's almost like there's like an obsessive energy here of like wanting to get to this person tell me about the ace of cups reverse yeah this is someone that wants to talk as well communicate um they could want to clear the air they could want to um, clean something up, cut through whatever's in their way. Four of Cups reverse, three of Wands again. This is someone that I feel is waiting. They're waiting and waiting and waiting. And I feel like they've kept you waiting as well. So what is the potential outcome here? What's next for this connection? We're going to look at 
um, a few cards here in this reading. All right, Spirit, what's next for this connection between Aries and this other person? What's next for this connection between Aries and this other person? High Priestess, okay. What's next for this connection? Three of Wands again. Third deck that that comes out upright. What else? It's like you're waiting for them to show up or they're waiting for some sort of opportunity to show up. What's next for this connection? Unfortunately, Aries, I feel like there's going to be um, still something that's unsaid or um, not expressed and it's still a waiting game here. Yeah, Nine of Swords, because someone is afraid. They're worried, anxious, even feeling possibly guilty. I have the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that could be wanting to move on, move forward, um, could be wanting to travel to see you or vice versa. But there's still fear here. I feel like this fear is a paralyzing fear. It's almost like they're up at night um, having sleepless nights thinking about this, thinking about what they want to do. They want to get in this chariot and move forward, move on, leave everything behind, but they can't. They're still waiting for something or they're still keeping you waiting, Aries. You know, and with the high priestess, I feel like you're not really sure when they're going to arrive or when this is going to happen. There really needs to be some sort of communication that answers all of these questions. It's like there's so much that is kind of left to to chance or almost like um, you, you are in the dark about what's going to happen next in this connection. And uh, you know, unfortunately what I see here is I don't see action here. There's no action that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing someone waiting. I'm seeing someone still being uh, afraid or anxious. Um, I'm seeing you both wanting to communicate, um, you both wanting to make something happen here, but it's just not coming together. Um, thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Take care.